options so first I will just go ahead and show you the uh, native search capabilities uh, using Windows in order to launch the tool you need to go to start and you will notice towards the bottom right by help and support you'll see an icon for search I will click on that and this will uh, bring uh, the native search capability of Windows L let's talk about a few things on the left side uh, you see uh, a pane where you have uh, different options it's asking you what do you want to search for you could search for pictures music or video documents like word processing documents all files and folders uh, computers or people and then uh, it also gives you some other options so I will go ahead and uh, click on files and folders then we get a new uh, dialog box in the left pane it says you could either search by all or part of the file name you could also search by a word or phrase in the file and then uh, finally you could look in different uh, areas like you could look in a hard drive or a um, certain folder let's go ahead and start uh, I'm looking for a file that has BMW in it in the name uh, now if you're not sure exactly what the name was you could put an asterisk in the front and put an asterisk in the back and then you could go ahead and start click on the search and this will uh, go ahead and start looking at your uh, computer now I'm not going to let this thing run for a while because it could take a while but notice that right off the bat it found uh, two documents um, that have BMW in the name. Um, if you wanted to go to that, browse to that location, you could right click on that document and select open containing folder. If you just wanted to go ahead and open the document, you could click and open. Now, the notice that the search, ser uh, search service continues to run basically in the background. And uh, here you go, uh, looks like it found uh, the document that I was looking for it's an information on BMW 325 I'm actually going to go ahead and select this term highway safety I will do a control uh, C you could do a copy by using edit copy or control C and then I will control I will, I will close this uh, document and I will actually stop the search and then close this. Uh, next thing uh, I noticed was that this document is in my doc in the folder called my documents so I will launch that and I the way I did that was I clicked on start and then my documents. Now when you are in a certain location you can uh, search within that location also and notice you'll have an icon for search up here that you should be able to uh, click on and it uh, goes ahead and brings up the same essentially search dialog box that we saw earlier I will go ahead and click on all files and folders and then this time instead of putting BMW in the first text box I'm going to go ahead and, and do a edit paste or also control V in here actually let's just do control V in here so now what I'm saying is okay instead of searching a file I really want to search for a word or phrase uh, in really any file uh, but it has to be in my documents so let's see um, we'll just click on search and it should be able to file it should be able to find the same document uh, one thing to notice though is if you are looking for a particular string or a particular word um, it this will uh, slow the process a little bit because now instead of really looking for a file it is actually looking for a particular string so I'm going to go ahead and let this run in the background uh, and show you a few more things so I'm just going to go ahead and go to start search again now let's say you were looking for um, an Excel file 
of some sort and um, you're pretty sure that the data that you uh, stored in was in Excel so you can actually click on all files and folders and now this time instead of giving it a file name I'm just going to go ahead and put asterisk dot XLS okay XLS is the extension for a Microsoft Excel document and I'm just going to go ahead and click on search notice uh, it starts off by bringing uh, some of the Excel sheets now if you're not sure uh, or if you if you are um, I guess sure that you worked on it recently you could change the view and uh, instead of tiles you could pick details what this will do is uh, and I will go ahead and maximize this you could start sorting your results by the date modified and you will notice it's uh, because I have multiple searches running it's starting to slow my computer I will uh, go ahead and stop this search and then uh, we'll just stop the search right now too just to show you that uh, once you have search results you can sort by uh, the date modified you could also uh, sort by the documents uh, folder location essentially so notice that there's a whole bunch of in, in my documents but then I have some in my backup folder I could certainly uh, if that's where do you think you store stored it you could select right click on the file right click anywhere for that matter actually I apologize right click on the file and say select open containing folder so what that will do is it will actually go ahead and open up the uh, backup 040807 folder and then uh, we can uh, try to find the actual Excel sheet that I was working on one final thing I wanted to talk about the search is that uh, let's say we go went went ahead selected an X and notice that it will remember some of your uh, last uh, search strings that you use so I had used an mp3 file a dot bak dot avi so it's smart enough that it can store store that information um, and now instead of uh, just saying C you could definitely uh, pick some of the other folders maybe you have something on your D drive uh, you could do that you may have some shared drives that you could search through um, I'm going to select Dyn documents and then I'm also going to go ahead and click on advanced options now here you'll you'll notice that uh, you could do a case sensitive search you could also search for hidden files and folders which are really um, like more like Windows files so you don't really need to check that but here's an important one which is searching the subfolders so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, leave the default settings and click on search and there you go looks like for Diane's documents I found uh, three different uh, items so all these uh, search examples that I showed you these do uh, utilize the uh, Windows search capabilities um, I will go ahead and talk about um, another option that uh, you may want to use and this is the uh, using the uh, Google desktop if you have not used it before it's uh, really powerful and a lot of times in fact it tur turns out to be faster than the native Windows search the other day I was searching for a dot BAK file uh, through the whole machine and then I kinda wanted to compare the results when I used the Windows native search it took ab about an hour to do uh, that search when I used the Google desktop instead it used uh, just a few minutes so first I will show you where to uh, download the tool um, I have my Internet Explorer open.